This one is our stretchy material. It looks a lot like typical plastic. These ones are more plastic fillers. It's fairly thin. But instead of taking centuries to degrade, this plastic, when added to water, takes only a matter of seconds. You can see how it just kind of breaks down. This is the latest invention from Portland-based company Algitech. Formed in 2017, when the founders were still students at the University of Oregon, the company has a single mission. It's to eliminate single-use plastics. Things like plastic straws, forks, spoons, bags, and all that stuff that ends up in our landfills and our oceans. The infamous Great Pacific Garbage Patch, full of plastics floating out in the Pacific, is now estimated to be the size of Texas, if not larger. But Algitech's non-toxic plastic alternative would not end up there. Our product by Algitech is a water-soluble, brown algae-based plastic alternative. It's also edible. You see, this is made out of seaweed, the same kind of giant kelp that grows off our shores, absorbing carbon as it does. As for exactly how the company turns the seaweed into this... Uh, we can't say. It's a secret. But somehow, the kelp is reduced into film, or made into pellets that can be pressed into rigid plastics like... Ice cream tasters, spoons, spoons, forks, knives, etc. Um, so there is definitely a large possibility of products that we would be able to make in the future with this. Packaging material is another option the company is exploring. And because the algae-based plastic dissolves in water, the company is also focusing on making products that would benefit from that. Tampon applicators was a great one because a lot of the times women throw down the toilet. I didn't realize it, but over 46% of women in the U.S. throw everything down the toilet. Or possibly even skin care products, since this type of algae not only makes an earth-friendly plastic, it's also good for your skin. Slimy hand lotion. Right now, the company is working with a manufacturer in Albany to produce the products. They're in the development phase right now, but could be hitting store shelves in one form or another this summer. In Southwest Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News. Keely, here, so fascinating. We're right. kind of hung up on the edible part. <laughs> yeah. Not that you'd ever want to. Right, and that's what they said. They said it is non-toxic. You could eat it, but they kept they want they kept saying you don't want to just because it does not taste good. Seasoning goes at all. Long, seasoning goes a long way. I mean, people people eat <laughs> kale all the time. And seaweed. People eat seaweed all the time too. Kale is good stuff. Uh, it <laughs> is. It's with the right dressing. A lot of cranberries and all of them. Yeah, disguise right. the taste. <laughs> so you have filling in for Matt on yeah. what is her birthday? Did you know this? She's doing duty on her birthday, so yeah. happy birthday. You're going to have Look a chance to celebrate. Look at all the work you're doing on your birthday. You're so yeah. busy. You're taking up I'm half here. the newscast. I'm here. You guys are like families. <laughs>